Yeah. Chicken noodle soup. Chicken, chicken noodle, noodle soup. soup. This chicken one is chicken soup. wing, right? Uh, that's chicken, a chicken, wing, chicken wing soup. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Gunner Rolla, and today we're taking a trip to South Korea through food. We're gonna explore three dishes that you can find in popular Korean films, shows, and music videos. And helping me out today is Chef Young Sun, the head chef at Tora. Fighting! Our first dish is a take on a popular Korean snack as featured in the award-winning film Parasite. Also known as Ramdon, this instant noodle dish perfectly illustrates the economic gap portrayed in the film. So there's a pretty unique dish in Parasite and it's called japaguri. Is that right, japaguri? Yes, japaguri. Okay, what is japaguri? Japaguri is japaguri noodle and then noguri with mix. That's okay. why japaguri. So these are two brands of Korean instant noodle. Yes. Do they have different flavors? Yes. Actually, japaguri is like sweet and then soybean first. And then noguri is spicy. So I wouldn't think of instant ramen as something very fancy and definitely not something that I would expect a rich family to eat. So. That's why the movie Parasite is using the like simmering show to low in that one. That is the expensive part. Right. And then instant ramen and then. So we go from like a 50 cent meal to like a $50 meal. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. So where do we start? First is cutting shortly. You can see that inside the like petty part and then looking good, right? Beautiful. And then now it's your turn to cut to half. Okay, so just like this? Yes. Okay, good. good. Sous chef Gunnarola here. Yes. <laughs> is good. that? Okay, there we go. Yes, looking good. Starting right the way you're steering them. Okay. Do we have to add any oil or anything? No, it's okay, because this one is already, when you sear it, it's going out something over that one. Oh, okay. So we're putting the short rib into the pan. You can see that the sound, right? Yeah, it smells really good too already. And then, salt and pepper. Okay, wow. Yeah. So that's our simmering short rib. Smells incredible. So now we're going to move on to making the ramen, or the yes. noodles, I guess. Noodle. We have ramen and udon. Yes. Okay. We need the pot first. Okay. And then enough to water. Back side is always like direction. Yeah. Right. So even Master Chef follows the instructions on the package? Yes, because this brand is a really big company. Right. They know. That's why I'm least bad direction. Okay. Always. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that, Dad? For our chapaghetti, we've got our soup base and also Flake. flakes. This one is later. Okay. That is really important to keep. All right, water's boiling. What's next? Next is naguri and chapaghetti noodle is different thick size. Okay. So I put naguri first, at least 30 seconds boil. So many time eating to instant ramen and then you can see that how well that condition. You can just tell by looking yeah. at Yeah. It. It's like a sixth sense. Yes. <laughs> Sight, smell, taste, touch. Sound, instant ramen. That's the Asian sixth sense. <laughs> it's if my instant ramen noodles are done cooking. And then, starting four minutes. Got it. And then you don't worry about that one. But if you're really boring to waiting time, you can just like shaking and then just. Pretend to cook. <laughs> yes. You like spicy or mild? I can do a little bit of spice. I don't like too much. I feel like a lot of Koreans love spicy food. Why do they like spicy food? Because. They fear and love too spicy. Mm. And then they most, when they grow in the kids' time, eating a lot. It's just kind of tradition. So did you think when you were going to culinary school that you would be here one day cooking me instant noodles? Actually, no. So we drain the noodles. What's yes. the next step? And then put in a sauce. Chapaghetti sauce is everything. But naguri is up to you how much you can enjoy That's the, the spicy, spicy part. Yeah. Okay, let's do like a little pit pinch. Yeah, that is half. A little more than a pinch, but okay. I hold the half part. I that is know, the most I don't think that was half. But. So we're adding in our short rib. Mmm. Just like in the yes. film. That smells amazing. Do we need to garnish it or anything? What I think is green onion is with a good balance. Beautiful. Korean comfort food if you are in the top tax bracket. Last thing to do, taste, taste. it. Okay. Thank you, chef. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. 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 Interesting texture. It's a pretty springy noodle. Actually, it's not too spicy. And uh, our sharp rib. Mm. It's good. 
Next up, we're putting together the iconic lunchbox served to the prisoners, I mean contestants, on the biggest series to hit Netflix ever. So Squid Game was a massive hit for Korea, the most watched series on Netflix. Did you watch it? Yeah, so much memory in my when I was a kid. Did you participate in those games? Yeah, some game. But, but not like you didn't die if you lost, right? Yeah, that is so <laughs> sad point. <laughs> but. So can you tell me the story behind this lunchbox? They just rice with the stir fry kimchi. Okay. And then anchovy, and then just egg fry. That's it. That is a simple version. So in Korean food, we call this panchan? Yes, panchan. Okay, that's something I love about Korean food is the, all these little side dishes. So let's put this together. First step is stir fry the kimchi. The iconic staple dish, it's kimchi. So you just pick this up at the supermarket? Yes. You don't mind using kimchi from the store? This part is, I think, is most aged kimchi is good for stir fried kimchi. Okay. Take off kimchi. This one is a little bit too big. Okay, and so just you don't chop it too fine. Yeah, I don't want it to like losing the texture. This portion is enough for a bento. Okay. So we're heating up our pan with a little bit of canola oil. So we're gonna kick it up a bit. And then sugar. This one is most important, sesame oil. Mm, all those different aromas. So let's try some here, we got a little piece. Mm, How's good, it's crunchy. Just exploded in my mouth. A little spicy, love the sesame flavor. This is part of pretty much any Korean meal, right? Yes. Even this one is good for with the japaguri too. Mm. Yeah. Mash Every up, Korean food. remix. Yes. Let's try to just plain egg fry. Add a little salt. And then you like pepper? I love not? pepper. Pepper too? Yes. Yes, there we go. So we've got our well done egg. And then we'll make this one. What is that? <laughs> it looks like a giant hot dog. Bunhong sausage. It's part of like fish cake sausage. That is a little bit sad story in our country. It's 1960s, Korea economy is not good. Mm. GDP is really low at that time. It's this item is selling for uh, everyone. This much is one people. One, two, wow. three, four, five. Okay, so family size fish cake sausage. Yes. Long time is I didn't taste this one, but this time is I'm so much expecting this one. Okay, so yes. there's probably an element of nostalgia here. Just two young fun bibim, that's why you need this much. Don't cook with plastic. <laughs> so I guess in some ways this is like the fish version of spam. Yes, Korean Spam. Korean Spam. <laughs> okay, so you're just coating it in flour. And then add with salt. And now we're coating it with egg. Yes. So it would be very common in a Korean household to eat something like this. Yes. Okay. So we've got our fried fish cake sausage. Another kick of protein for your lunch set. So is it time to put the lunch set together? Yes, you try to yourself whatever you want, how much that one. Yeah, I yeah. can help you. Okay, it's like a buffet for me now. Yes. Okay, so we'll take some of this rice. Rice is probably the... Oh, give me one second. <laughs> okay. Because if you forgot to like some oh. ham spray, something. Mm. So we gotta coat it with some oil. Yes. Does it matter how I put this in here? Yes, yeah, so how much you can eating that. Rice is our base here. It's not a day without rice. Let's take some of these soybeans. Then our fried squid. Anchovies. Yeah. Yeah. Kimchi. Yes. Whoa, it looks so fancy. Yeah, I mean, I didn't do anything, but okay. So this is almost like making art. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, crunchy. Last thing. Oh, yes. can't forget this. Our egg. Yes. Wow, look at this. It's our Yangpun lunch set, Korean Lunchables. In the series, they just serve it to everybody like this and they eat it out of that, but you can actually do something different with it. Close the cover and it's shaking well. Okay. Hold this two way. Yes, <laughs> shaking everywhere. Like up here. Yes, up here, up here, here, up here, here up there, there, yeah. left light. We're gonna make our Yangpun cocktail. Mix well is good for you. True. Whenever I've had bibimbap, I just mix it manually, but this yeah. is so much more fun. Time for the big reveal. Here yes. we go. Wow. That <laughs> <laughs> it looks like somebody packed a lunch and then dropped it off the side of a truck. 
<laughs> now it looks like a prison meal. <laughs> I yes. guess you wouldn't serve it already shaken, right? That's yeah. up to the person who's gonna eat it, so. Yeah. Let me just try this fish cake here. Mmm. The fish cake is a little sweet. Want some? <laughs> no. If this is what they serve in prison, I'm gonna go commit a crime right now. <laughs> Now it's time for a classic dish that was the subject of a hit song by a K-pop boy band member. And joining us is Selena Caesar Chavan, who, as the former parliamentary secretary to the prime minister, has had her fair share of international travels and culinary exploration. All right, well, our next recipe is inspired by K-pop. Are you a big K-pop fan? My household is, mm -hmm. so we're, we're good I to go. I think that's pretty safe to say for yeah. any household <laughs> around the world. So for those of you who don't know, BTS is probably one of the biggest Korean K-pop boy bands in the world right now. And one of their members, J-Hope, has a song called Chicken Noodle Soup with the soda on the side. But do you know the original to that song by Young B and DJ Webstar with the chicken noodle okay. soup? Chicken, chicken noodle, noodle soup. Chicken noodle, noodle, soup, chicken noodle soup, soup with the soda, soda on the side. side. Oh, that's it, okay. <laughs> Everything's a remix, I guess. Everything's a remix these days. On a cold day like today, there's nothing I want more than a warm bowl of chicken mm. noodle soup, right? Yes. For sure, yeah. for sure. And the version we grew up with probably had tons of veggies, potatoes. Carrots, celery, everything was yeah. thrown in. Yeah. And maybe you got a piece of chicken. Korean chicken noodle soup is a little different. Yes, without veggie. Most broth with most chicken. Just I show you that it's the easy to way to how to make chicken noodle soup. I like easy. Do you like to cook a lot at home? Um, well, Uber Eats has become quite popular okay. as a dish in our house. Uh, <laughs> Look at this! Yeah, okay. beautiful. That's right. This one is your turn. <laughs> Left side. Oh, we're gonna, sw oh, I'm gonna this switch is a two. This oh, is a okay. two-hand job. Like, make tiny. Oh, we're just yeah. shredding yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> now, what's the deal with chicken soup with a soda on the side? Do you usually have a soda with your chicken soup? Me? No. I could see ginger ale making sense, because if you're not feeling well, you want a soup and maybe like the, the bubbly kind of, you know, you have ginger ale when you're not feeling well, right? So we've shredded our chicken. What's next? Ready for chicken broth. Chicken broth? Yeah, one liter. And then one bowl. And then just noodle put in. It's boiled with it together. Okay. This time, is we can make dadegi. This called to like spicy sauce. You guys love the spice? <laughs> no, spice. I'm a little from Grenada, the Isle of Spice, and I don't like a lot of spice. So. Okay, this one is spicy with the garlic. As so I put the here, and then this one is chili powder. Yes. Oh, that's and you're lot. just gonna put the whole thing. Okay. Yep. No problem. Soy sauce. This one is monster. In the Korean. Dongdaemun Street. Whole street is the most chicken noodle soup. They really? Say. This is kalguksu. Okay. Knife of noodle. Knife noodle? That sounds a little scary. A little menacing. <laughs> no. This mean is knife cut the noodle. Okay. Okay. That's a lot of work. So you don't make them smaller. You leave them that no, big? Oh yeah. So they're long noodles. Can I just put spaghetti noodles in here? No. <laughs> That's not the Korean way. That's not, okay, not my, my apologies, Jeff, my apologies. <laughs> Too many hacks. <laughs> so how long should we cook it for? Five minutes. Okay. I'm used to putting the celery in into the dry yeah. pot and then stirring and then putting carrots and then stirring and then putting root. The whole process. I could have been doing this this whole time. <laughs> mm. It's just broth and it's noodles. It's broth and noodles. Holy. That we could be done now. I would be happy with that. That, that's good. Fresh It's like noodles. fresh noodles. It really just absorbed the flavor. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. And there how much? Go. Oh, then there you go. Like you okay, wow. Yes. Can you do on top okay. garnish for here? Okay, just a little bit of a garnish. Yes. And then dadegi is uh, on the just side leave there. Yeah, on the side there. That is the easiest chicken noodle soup I've ever right. salivated. <laughs> You know what I think would go best with this, though? A soda, soda on, on the side. side. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a normal bite and a spicy bite. We got to figure out who gets which one. Kai bai bo. Kai bai bo. Black scissor paper. Okay, okay, okay. Kai bai bo. Ah! Oh, yeah. ah! 
<laughs> but you know what? You can have this. You're such a generous yeah. host. I love it. Okay, thank you, because I don't want spicy. Yeah. All right, should we just shot this? Can I just yeah, eat the whole thing? It's like shot glass. It. Oh, geez. Here we All go. Right. Oh, careful. Oh, oh, this is oh. I'm just going to go for the whole thing here with this spiciness. Here we go. Mm, mm. <laughs> mm. You know, the noodles almost taste like a dumpling. It's so good. They do. Yeah. And you gotta try this spicy. You need a little bit of a kick there. Oh, do I need a little, a little bit? bit? Do I do I need a little bit Just of a, a kick? Little bit. Oh my gosh. Mm. That's so good. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's not like No. It adds um it adds to the <laughs> flavor, mm -hmm. enhances the flavor mm -hmm. of the of the soup. That was amazing. Very rich, flavorful. But you know what we've got? The soda, <laughs> the soda on, on the, the side. side. Our chicken noodle soup with soda, soda on the side. On the side. Cheers. Ooh. Thank you, Chef. That actually does go well together. That ginger. Yeah. I feel better already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>